Hey guys, today I thought we should walk through one of my recent edits and I think I used one of my upcoming presets on it originally, but the thing with presets can be that it's very confusing to figure out how you get from A to B. So let's try and recreate this photo that I edited the other day and make it into what it is. So this is the raw file and this is the result that we're trying to get. So let's jump into Lightroom and see how it goes. All right, we are inside Lightroom. And what I've done here is that this is the edit that we're going for on the left side. I've put it into reference mode so that we have our reference shot here. And this is a shot that has been done nothing to except from cropping. That's the only thing I've done. It was a merged image from multiple drone shots. So it's been merged and now I've cropped it so that we have the exact same photo. Now, you might notice that my develop panel over here is slightly different from yours. That's because I have sorted it in a different way so that it fits my workflow because I always start with the tone curve. So the idea here is that we want to recreate and we might need to go a little bit back and forth. But let's start with doing a tone curve like this, which is what I usually do. And already there we can see we're getting a little bit closer i'm not sure if we are going to do much in here we might increase the highlights a little bit we might also increase the shadows a little bit like so get to the calibration tab i am not sure i'm mostly just using presets for this normally presets that i've made so let's try and see if we can get it to where we want it. I think we need to go left on this. And oh, this one is tough. Maybe left as well. We can hit that sweet spot. And uh, do we want to, we want to increase that slightly. I don't think the calibration will matter too much in all of this, but for just a good sake let's do it anyway all right i know the color grading is pretty important here i did use a preset for this one over here and just went from there so that's why it might be slightly difficult for me to get the exact same thing as that was a preset that i developed some time ago and i think it's good practice to sometimes just go through and see if we can do this so i added some blue into the highlights and let's add some i think we need to add some orange up here not too much though and then some more for the yeah, definitely more for the highlights uh might need to go a little bit more yellow and it looks like we have a lot of saturation there i think we'll turn up the luminance a little bit and for the midtones too like so and then turn down the luminance for the shadows a little bit just a little bit and let's see if we need some global color too i do not think that we do but maybe it's okay actually it gives just a little bit extra glow up there yeah you can see already that just made a huge difference we are already much much closer so let's jump into the hue saturation luminance tab here and let's just fiddle around the reds doesn't do much because we've added so much into the highlights this one doesn't do too much either and to be honest i think I'll turn the greens a little bit towards the yellows and the yellows a little bit towards the greens then we will i think we need to desaturate the greens a little bit uh, maybe not that much actually so we definitely need to desaturate some of the blues as they are too dominant in this region up here uh, like so yeah that's looking all right so far and let's see if we need to do anything with the saturation here i don't think so for now now comes the interesting part i think we might have gone a little bit too far with the color grading so we might need to adjust that a little bit uh, we need to turn up the yellows to get that kind of glow on some of the trees 
and we will turn down the blues as well to get back some details in front of the mountain up here i think that's starting to look pretty good i think we might have gone a little bit too light or like dark in the shadows so let's try and do it like this and we want to bring back a little bit of detail in the mountain as well so we're turning down the highlights a little bit again and for the detail i don't think that's gonna do much but let's just hold down option and mask and just make sure that we have that nice outline sharpened all right so that is for now probably it let's just go to the color grading and see if we want to yeah we want to go a little bit less on this one i think and let's see if we go i think i think this might be okay it's just not very sharp up here for some reason okay so the magic really starts when we go into the masking so i definitely know that we are gonna do a very very gradient kind of thing up here so let's just turn down a little bit of the shadows again but turn up the highlights like so and to recreate this kind of light coming from the side where the sun sunrise was coming we need to create another one that turns the light from up here and just kind of brightens it all up we might even turn the temperature up a little bit as well as you can see we get that yellow glow that we were looking for might turn up the shadows a little bit like that and then we're gonna counter that as well so we are gonna do a linear mask like this and we're gonna place it around there and then we're gonna turn down the shadows turn down the highlights to kind of simulate how the sun is coming from this side over here and i think we're gonna do a radial gradient around this area in the middle maybe do it a little bit smaller holding down shift to adjust it and i think we're going to bring up the clarity a little bit on the mountain the texture as well to bring back some of that detail we might want to dehaze it a little bit to bring some more detail out as well i think this is starting to look pretty good and let's say done for now let's look at the similarities here i think i think we've gotten pretty close the only thing i notice is that this is a little bit lighter still so we might turn up the shadows just a tiny bit more and then i think we actually have to adjust the uh, yellows and greens a little bit more as well definitely want to go on the left side here um, let's see the saturation it can be difficult to hit the exact same but i think we have come pretty far let's turn up the luminance a little bit and i think i think that's it i think at least we've gotten pretty close to what we had before details are kind of similar now this photo i know i brought into photoshop and i sharpened it up a little bit more on the mountain and i did a little bit dutch and burn on the bottom of the mountain as well so we're not going to do that for this tutorial to keep it short but that's the only difference i know that i made i think we got pretty close and i do really like this edit as well so i hope that kind of showed you how the behind the scenes of editing and at least my workflow goes and sometimes it's pretty nice to just download a photo of instagram if you like the style and then try and do something similar if you have a reference photo it's sometimes easier to do and how you get that is just normally you are on this view down here but if you go into the reference and active then you can just 
drag your reference photo on top of that and then select the photo that you want to edit. And then you have your reference photo next to your actual photo that you want to edit. And then you can just go from there. It's super easy and super nice. And um, yeah, that's the tutorial for today. Until the next time, have fun and take care.